Um, I think it's really important for us to try to br make a bridge between environmental and social justice. Um, I've uh, been involved in many kinds of movements and organizations where you get the human rights or development type on one side and then the environmental folks on the other and they don't work together. I've actually seen where they work across purposes. So an issue I'm hoping to bring into, as a, a good example, into the World Future Council is the issue of the w w fresh water crisis and the fact that on one side we have people dying mostly in the developing world because there's no access to clean water and on the other, we are literally running out of clean water because of our ecological destruction of it. So I'd like to, to use that as a kind of way to bridge these um, two parallel tracks. Um, and I think it's also a huge issue of, a part of the issue of global warming and climate change. I would like for us to build a plan that challenges the the current power structure in the world that is um, mitigating against all of the changes that we all know need to happen. And Jacob talks about the fact that we know what we need to do and it's his total frustration that there, does, there seems to be this disconnect between what we know from science and technology and from our elders and so on about what we need to do and what we're doing. And I think there's a reason for that and I think that reason is called the power structure of the current market economy and unless we challenge that, and unless we challenge institutions like the WTO and uh, the, the major transnational corporations and the power that they have and the, the destruction of biological diversity and so on for in the name of profit, and even in some cases the United Nations in its role, unless we challenge that directly with another kind of, of, of vision, um, I, I would worry that our voice might get lost because there's lots of good groups out there talking about these issues. So I would want us to be quite cutting edge in that challenge of that power structure. Well, I'm well known in Canada, getting well known around the world around water. So those would be two conduits that I would have. Um, it's going to be more difficult to get the World Future Council known in North America than it is here in Europe, or particularly Germany, for obvious reasons. But it, you're going to find that you're going to get pretty good media here. And maybe in some of the developing countries would have an interest in, in having these kind of voices speak on their behalf. But North America is going to be a harder bird to crack, you know. So I would want to do that and, and work through my organization, the Council of Canadians, to help the World Future Council become known, at least in Canada. Um, and also to connect with the networks that I'm, I'm involved in around the global fight for water justice um, because I think that group needs allies and I think that um, it would be a refreshing kind of connection for some of the members here who are do wonderful work on paper or in their minds and so on but would really, could really maybe benefit from some real meeting with uh, real grassroots activists. So I, I just see it as a kind of cross-fertilization.